the Israeli military says its ground offensive has expanded to every part of Gaza and it ordered more evacuations in the crowded south while vowing the operations there against Hamas will be no less strength than its shattering ones in the north. Heavy bombardment followed the evacuation orders. First off, I want to talk about uh, something I was just speaking about there, and that is the fact that Netanyahu has pulled those negotiation teams out of Qatar. What does that say about the future of a possible next ceasefire? Well, I, I think the future of the ceasefire is really going to rely on how trustworthy we Israel can see Hamas is. And so I think we probably saw this coming. Netanyahu uh, realized that they done as much as they can with what Hamas has given them. And I say Hamas has given them because Hamas started playing games near the end of the negotiations. We got into day seven. That was the third extension, third daily extension on those negotiations and the pause. However, Hamas started playing more games and becoming intransient in those talks. Uh, the straw that broke the camel's back, if you will, was probably when Hamas reneged on releasing additional Israeli female hostages. And that was part of the arrangement. So at that point, there was nothing left to be gained by Israel, uh, realizing that Hamas had probably reached the point where it was satisfied in what it, it had done and was able to achieve. So Israel, and I'm sure this was a very hard decision, can, when you look at the emotional challenge that the, releasing those hostages weighs on the Israeli government, I think it was a tough decision, but the right decision that they had to take at the time. Now. We have children, we have infants, we have them back home to safety, and this is a great progress. But we cannot go on like this. Hamas is going nowhere. And if we continue to negotiate with them, they will continue stretching these negotiations, taking us into a rabbit hole that will never end. And this is their goal, to get away with their crime. And we cannot allow this to happen. There is no other option for us but to stand united, fight together until Hamas is eradicated for the sake of Israeli children and for the sake of Palestinian children. Now, Israel has thousands of Hamas members in prison and Israel must use this card. This is the time when Israel need to use Hamas savages in prison to pressure Hamas leadership everywhere to release the hostages. Jeremiah chapter 47 This is the word of Jehovah to Jeremiah the prophet concerning the Philistines before Pharaoh struck down Gaza. This is what Jehovah says. Look, waters are coming from the north. They will become a flooding torrent and they will flood the land and everything in it, the city and those inhabiting it. The men will cry out and everyone dwelling in the land will wail at the sound of the pounding hoofs of his stallions, at the rattling of his war chariots, and the rumbling of his wheels. Fathers will not even turn around for their sons, for their hands fall limp, because the day that is coming will destroy all the Philistines. It will cut off from Tyre and Sidon, and every remaining ally. For Jehovah will destroy the Philistines, who are the remaining ones from the island of Kaftor. Baldness will come to Gaza. Ashkelon has been silenced, O remnant of their valley plain. How long will you keep making cuts on yourself? Ah, the sword of Jehovah, how long will you not be quiet? Go back into your sheaf, take your rest and be silent. How can it be quiet when Jehovah has given it a command? against Ashkenon and the seacoast. There it is where he has assigned it. And these are more signs.